Marmots. I hope you're all doing well. I miss you all so much and I wish I could see you all in person. So I've been home like all of you and I decided to make a super friend tracker for myself just like we have at school. So here's mine. It says Sam super friend tracker and I got three stars one for washing the dishes, two for cleaning my room, and three for taking out the trash. So I think it would be a great idea for all of you to make a super friend tracker at home for yourselves, and mom and dad can help you decide when you've earned a star. And if you remember from school, we earn our stars at the end of the day when we look back and think about our day and decide if we were super friends. This guy. And do we all remember what ways we could be super friends even at home? So I'm thinking of sharing toys, which is something you could do at home if you are with brothers and sisters. We also use gentle hands and feet. So we're taking care of our toys, we're putting them back where they belong, and we're definitely not throwing them. We're putting them down very nicely, and we're keeping our feet on the ground. Some other ways are to help clean up, which includes putting away our toys. Um, but I think the biggest one, and also the toughest one probably now, is listening to mom and dad's instructions. So I know this is a really hard one and you all are used to listening to a lot of different people's instructions like Miss Sam's or other teachers at schools. But now you are spending all of your time with mom and dad. So it can be hard to just listen to one or two people. Um, but it is important to listen to them because this is a really hard time for them too. It's hard for everyone and comes with its own challenges and mom and dad aren't used to spending every day and every minute with you. So I really encourage you to take time to listen to what they have to say, be kind to them and listen to their instructions and hopefully you can get a super friend award if you do. And Marmots, do we remember how many super friend stickers we need to get a super friend award? 10. So at school we need 10 super friend stickers to get a super friend award and maybe you all can do the same thing at home if you start tracking it. And it doesn't need to be stickers, you can do stars like I did or maybe your favorite shape like a circle or a triangle. And parents, if you'd like me to send our super friend award to you to fill out, I can do that or maybe you can come up with a new award so I know that these times have been really tough on us. We're not used to having a different schedule and always being home. And I know that a lot of feelings may come up. Throughout this time, I've definitely felt frustrated, really angry, or really sad that I didn't get to see you all or go out and do things I might want to do. But I do know someone that has helped us work out our difficult emotions and his name starts with a T, and it is Tucker. Sun's a little bright, but here's Tucker the turtle. He's here with me, and he would love to help us talk through some ways that we can calm ourselves down when we're frustrated. So does anyone remember what we can do when we feel frustrated? How about you, Tucker? Do you know what we can do? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great idea, Tucker. We can always, always, always use our body to express how we're feeling. So sometimes we can stand up, we can stomp our feet and say, I'm really angry. Or we learned we can push a wall uh, and let all of your anger out in a safe way and say, yeah, I'm really angry, right, Tucker? Oh, that's another great idea. We can get in our shell. So Tucker has a real shell, but we can all pretend to get in a shell when we're feeling angry or sad. 
So that just means we get really, really small and we close our eyes and we think, hmm, how am I feeling? So you may say, I'm feeling really angry or I'm feeling really sad. And then you're going to ask yourself, oh yeah, you're going to ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Hmm, why am I feeling really sad today? Get in my shell. I think it's because I miss my friends. Mm, yeah, I think so. So what can I do? Mm, now that I've thought about this, I think I'm ready to come out of my shell and think of some solutions or some things that we can do to make ourselves feel better. So what's something you can do if you're really missing your other marmot friends at school? Mm, I'm thinking you could write them a letter. You could maybe, with the help of mom and dad, schedule a video call with them. Or you can even join our Wednesday morning video calls and see all your marmot friends. It's another idea you have, Tucker. Oh, that's a great idea. Tucker said that you could maybe draw a picture of you and your friend and hang it up and you can look at it whenever you're feeling sad or like you're missing them. I think that's a great idea. And friends, what are some other ways we can calm down? Maybe we're feeling really angry and stomping our feet or pushing the wall just wasn't enough. What's something else we can do? Yeah, so at school, some of us have calm down baskets. So maybe you can make a calm down basket at home. And some things that are in calm down baskets are things to draw, things to squeeze, there's maybe like a squishy ball in there that you can just squeeze really hard. What else can you do? You can sing a song you like. I know we all like Down by the Bay. That's always a good one to sing. Hmm, what else? <gasps> of course. Oh, Tucker, what was that? We could take deep belly breaths, of course. How could we forget that? Can we all do three together? Sam so Ruby. <sighs> Nice. And we should hear you exhale all of your air. Ready? <sighs> nice breath, Tucker. Let's do one more. <sighs> nice. And who remembers why we do breaths? Me, 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 me. I know, I know. I think Tucker knows. Tucker, why do we do breaths? Tucker's talking very quietly, so I'll tell you what he said. Oh yes, we do rest to calm down, exactly. And when that's what we're trying to do when we're really frustrated. So we can take deep breaths, so we can make a calm down basket, we can draw, we can sing a song. There's so many things we can do. Um, but I think the most important one that we can do and practice at home is to ask for help. Sometimes if you're feeling so sad and you don't know what to do and nothing's working, you can go to your brother or sister or mom or dad and say, hey, I'm feeling really sad or I'm feeling really angry, whatever you're feeling, and say, what do you think I can do or can I have a hug? And I bet mom or dad or brother and sister will have a really awesome idea to make you feel better. All right, and one of my favorite ways to calm down and make myself feel better is to color. And something really fun that you can do is color and practice your shapes. So something I drew was some shapes on this piece of paper. So do we remember some of these? Oops. Who knows what this one is? Circle. And what about that one? It's a square. And this one? Triangle. And what about these tiny ones? I think that's another square, another triangle, another circle. Nice. And even this is a triangle upside down. So as you can see, there's a lot of different shapes here. 
And something fun you can do that will help you practice your shapes is to do a coloring project. So for this, I am going to color my circles red, my triangles green, and my squares blue. All right, and once you've colored in all of your shapes to the right color, and you can see, I remember I made my circles red, my triangles green, and my squares blue. Now you can decorate the page however you like. Awesome! As you can see, I drew lots of squiggly lines around my shapes, but now I have some shape art. Awesome! And once you've mastered, which means you know them really well, once you've mastered circles, triangles, and squares, you can move on to some other shapes that we've learned, such as, here's what this is. This one, it's a rectangle. And what about these? They kind of look like potatoes. These are ovals. I see one more shape here. Diamonds. They look kind of like triangles, but they're really two triangles combined. Awesome, and you can do the exact same thing on this one and maybe color code it however you'd like. So I'll do blue, yellow, and orange this time. So I'll do blue ovals, um, orange rectangles, and the yellow diamonds. All right, and I have my very own shape art. Awesome, and I know you all are much better artists than me and definitely much better colorers, so I would love to see the shape art that you all make and maybe even show me some of your other drawings you've done and ways that you've successfully calmed down during this time at home. And if you start your own super friend tracker, that would also be awesome to show me. You can show during our video chat or you can send me a picture with the help of mom and dad. Great. Well, I hope this was fun and I hope you all are doing well and feel free to reach out to me whenever you want. And before we go, Tucker the turtle wanted to say goodbye by singing our favorite, what's that? Oh, Tucker the turtle song. All right, and I want to hear you sing at home. Ready? Tucker the turtle was angry. Tucker the turtle was angry. Tucker the turtle was angry. Calm down, Tucker, calm down. Hmm. Tucker the turtle will pause quick, tuck in his shell and breathe deep. Three deep breaths he does take. Breathe, Tucker, breathe. Tucker the turtle pops back up. Tucker the turtle is calm now. Ah, he thinks of solutions. Hooray. Yay, Tucker, hooray. Bye, everyone.